Hey guys, I wanted to show you guys how to create a footprint chart in Atas um, from scratch. So first thing we're gonna wanna do is go up here to chart. I'm just gonna click here. And then I'm gonna leave it at yes since that's what I trade and click okay. And then we are going to maximize this chart. First thing I'm gonna do is remove anything that's already on here. I'm gonna click on this volume profile, click delete. Um, and then up here for the depth of market, I'm gonna click this X right here. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the styling of the chart to my liking. So I'm gonna click this settings up here and we're gonna get the chart settings. I'm gonna make this bigger. So for the background, I'm gonna click down arrow here and we're gonna make this a near black. So I'm gonna go to more colors and I'm gonna put it as 24, 24, 24 for the RGB. Now that we have that done, I'm going to remove these vertical lines and make the horizontal lines um, dashed. So I'm gonna go here to the grid and for show vertical grid, I'm going to remove that or uncheck it. And for the grid style, I'm gonna go here, click this down arrow and go from solid to dash. That makes it a little bit less visible. And then I'm gonna go and change the axis to be a different color so it's a little bit more visible and pops a little bit more. So for the axis, we're gonna go down here to axis background color, check this, and I'm gonna change the color to this color right above black here. So now that we have the chart styled, I'm gonna change the colors since I prefer it to be um, red and blue instead of just being um, red and green. So we're gonna go here to candles. I'm gonna change the green candle, go to more colors, and I'm gonna make the green candle blue. So I'm gonna do 57, 105, 157. For the down candle, I'm gonna go and change that so it pops a little bit less and change it to 169, 57, 54 for the RGB. Um, now that we have that done, um, nothing else we really need to do. So you can either close that out or you can leave this open. Um, there's, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what the footprint chart looks like by default. So by default, it is a bid by ask, has a volume profile, and then it's colored based on, I think, the delta. So, we can change the settings in a few ways. You can change it from these um, quick settings right here. You can click the settings cog up here, or you can also just do it from the main settings um, and go to cluster settings, which is what the volume profile is called, or sorry, the footprint is called. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to change this. So I'm gonna change it from bid x ask to bid ask centered. And you'll see why a little bit later, um, it looks a little bit better with the with a candle bar because the wicks overlap with that X that it has in the middle. Um, next thing I'm gonna do, um, this doesn't really matter, I'm gonna change this to full row, but I'm gonna change the color scheme to none. Um, that way it's going to completely get rid of any sort of coloring. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this bar we have on the left side and then make it so we have some sort of candlestick bar. So I'm gonna go here to outer border and direction indicator and change this from body to candle and then check here for border color by direction which will copy what we have already set up. I'm gonna click the down arrow here. I'm gonna change the width of the candle to be one since I like it to be pretty thin. And to remove that bar here on the left, we're going to uncheck this direction indicator width. So now we have that set up, um, it looks pretty good by default. Um, we'll go down here to the bid ask imbalance settings and click enabled. And we're gonna change the bid color to be red. So this will show us aggressive selling or um, aggression on the bid um, by someone absorbing. So I'm gonna change this to red color, a bright red. We're gonna do 253, 59, 49. And then for the ask, 
we're going to change that, go to more colors, and I'm gonna put this as a bright, bright blue. I do 52, 183, 244, like that. And as you can see, it highlights quite a lot. So what I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm going to go here to the imbalance rate and change this to 300, and that will make it occur a lot less. And I'm also gonna change the minimum difference to 100, which will also get rid of a few of more. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click check here where it says bold text. Um, that way those will pop a little bit more um, than your usual. Um, next thing you can do is you can change this. You can see the point of control or where we have the most volume here. So maximum level is based on volume. So wherever we have the most volume, it is um, making the text bold and you can change the text color to like, let's say yellow. Um, that will show you where the um, point of control is of that bar. For now, I'm just going to uncheck this and change it to um, white. So it'll still stand out, but not a ton. Um, next thing I'm going to do is show the value area. So you can see a value area here. Um, I like to see it so you can see where a majority of the volume has transacted. And we're gonna click into here. I like it to be pretty transparent, so I'm just gonna leave it how it is, but drag this transparency to near the edge. So you can kind of see it, but it is not super visible. Now that we have that, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another column with the delta. So we're gonna go up here to additional footprint and click the check mark here. I'm gonna click down so we can see the settings. So right now it's based off of volume. I'm gonna change this to be delta. And then I'm going to change the mode to be a delta profile and then the color scheme to be delta. So that way we will be coloring based on the delta and you will be able to um, see that. So that's pretty much it for the um, footprint bars. There's not much else that I like to see on the footprint bars other than what we have here. We have the, the bid and ask, we have where we can see the imbalances, and then we can also see the delta. Um, and as you can see here, we can see that we have this exhaustion these prints and the zeros. So for the most part, um, this is what I kind of like to have for my um, footprint charts.